Okay, for this video, uh, we're going to begin by downloading some lesson files and then seeing how to define your site within Dreamweaver to point to them so that you can work through basically any lesson in the book and any website that you want to uh, work on outside of these lessons would be pretty much the same process. First, we're going to download lesson one files. These happen to be for the 2017 version, but uh, it really wouldn't matter if you were going to be using older files. So I'm going to wait for those to download. I am using Chrome, so down in the lower left-hand area, I am able to see my download progress, and it is now downloaded, so I'm going to go take a look, and I'm going to try to extract the files out of this downloaded folder. So I'm going to double-click on that. I see that Lesson 1 is the name of the folder inside the archive, and those are the files I want to work with, so I'm going to drag those over to maybe a flash drive, or in this case, a desktop, which I can use then to work with throughout the rest of this Dreamweaver video. And as I look on the desktop, I can see Lesson 1 here. And inside there, out of curiosity, we see there are lots of files and folders that make up this website that's in the Lesson 1 folder. So without exploring this further, just notice that there is a, a couple of web, website uh, pages in here, About Us and Index, and there's also an Images folder uh, where we would usually place all of our media that's going to be showing up on pages, um, photo, photos, logos, things like that. All right, now next we're going to launch Dreamweaver, knowing that we want to work with our website that is on the desktop in the Lesson 1 folder. So I'm launching Dreamweaver now. And we're going to go through the site definition phase that you should always do when you are working with a site in Dreamweaver. So to do that, uh, we don't want to just jump into a new document here. We want to work with our existing website. So I'm going to go Site, New Site. Uh, if you're working on a home computer and you want to work with the same site that you've defined earlier, you can just go right to it. Um, perhaps drop this guy down and choose a site that shows up. Uh, or you can go to, as we need to, since it's our first time, Site, New Site. Uh, if you're working in our lab, for example, or any computer that doesn't remember you from the previous time, you'll have to do this. And we will have to do this regardless of what computer we're on for every lesson since it's a new batch of files. So here's what we're going to do. Answer these two main questions, the site name and the site folder. Uh, the site's name is pretty much up to you, whatever you'd like to call it. In this case, I might call it something like Lesson 1. Or if it's an assignment part that you're working on, you could come up with a name that represents that. Now, the more important part is the folder location. So I'm going to click on Browse for Folder, and in my case I'm looking on my desktop where I previously placed that Lesson 1 folder. And I want to select that folder by clicking on it, but I don't want to go into that folder any deeper because it's actually the outside folder that I want to work on, so I am going to save that. And this could be the end of your definition, but instead uh, what our book oftentimes will recommend is that you go one more step into the local info and set the images folder as the folder you want to work with. So we select that and that allows Dreamweaver to manage your images for your site a little bit better. So we'll normally want to do that. Although the critical part really of all that is setting the main site folder to be wherever your lesson files are. Now you can see that the uh, files panel shows up here with the site's name here and again here you can also see the path to your site's root folder and then you can see all the files inside of it. This tells Dreamweaver where your site is going to be for the remainder of your work on it and any files that you choose to bring into your site should go in that area. For example, then we can work directly from this files panel to take a look at, let's say, the home page by double clicking it in the files panel. It will open up in the main viewing area here in whatever view um, you choose to. I'm going to get that.
that out of our way. And you can work, for example, in code view, in split view, or in live view. And live view itself can be either in design or live mode. And your book will explore that further, as well as the fact that all these panels can be moved around, rearranged, um, sized, and placed to your particular needs. So that site definition phase is an important one. It's something that you do not want to neglect because it can have uh, negative effects as you work with links and images and things in your site. So you want to make sure that you always remember to define your site first uh, before you start modifying and adding elements to any of the websites that we'll be dealing with in this class. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching and hopefully that will help you in defining your sites in the future.